hello everyone welcome back to my little channel girlfriend so today i'm gonna be doing my nails and all of y'all already saw what i did to myself so um i had been waiting a couple days to record this video because you know this girl be like a little busy pero pues aquí está i'm gonna be using number 10 acrylic from my website because this is one of my little favorite like nude beige mm, creamy looking I don't know how to explain it but it's cute and it's not pink and I was going for like a neutral vibe so I'm going to be applying this um, to majority of my nails along with the G10 holographic glitter so it's such a coincidence I didn't really like pick them because they're both number 10 but I was like what? so the nude one is just number 10 and the other one is called G10 you know you know glitter number 10 I'm using the 2XL coffin C curve um, because I do get a lot of questions when I did post these nails they were like oh we can try those Ooh, yeah I love them or whatever so these are one of my favorite nail tips right now because you know the length is bomb and so I just wanted to show you guys how I apply my acrylic because I do remember that when I barely started with the c-curve style like um, I've always used nail tips for the most part so this look you can achieve mostly by like sculpting nails and so I started doing um, nails sculpted when I was going to school for like manicure and all of that but then when I was in the salon um to me it was just faster to do nail tips y pues yo ya me tardaba un chingo haciendo uñas so doing like sculpted nails como que I was like girlfriend that's gonna take a lot longer so tips it is girl and so um back then the nail tips were always all flat you know so now that the C curves are popping and in style um, I used to kind of struggle with the application, so I just wanted to show you guys how exactly I um, apply the acrylic and kind of move, push my brush and all of that, you know? Um, so there's a little trick, but once you get it, it's easy. You won't have those flat sides on the sides. You won't have a nice curve. And a lot of clients are not used to the C-curve, so if you try to give them C-curve nails, they're going to be like, bitch, no me gustan, or whatever. Pero pues, there's some clients that do like the sculpted look. And I'm just going for like a little ombre with the glitter because um, originally I told myself that I was going to bling out everything that had glitter. So I was going to put the glitter base so that my bling could kind of camouflage with it because I do like to um, give a, an appearance of a super packed fully bling bling nail look, you know. Sometimes it's not like super blinged out but the glitter kind of gives that look. So just in case you ever want to look bling bling but not have that much crystals because you know it could get expensive or whatever. A little tip is just apply a little bit of acrylic underneath that's the same color glitter and bam so right here I'm going for a little marble ish look and um, I wanted something a little more transparent so I just put a little bit of clear the same nude and I just kind of like wiggled it around I don't want it to be like um, perfect perfect like I guess there's no perfect marble that's what I'm trying to say just like Tú muévele, mueve la brocha como sea, you know, just make those little colors blend together and don't think about the design that you're trying to make in your head. Tú nomás mueve la pinche brocha y ya, lo que caiga, cae. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the glitter because, you know, you can never have enough glitter, bitch. Just make a little bit of sparkle. And so you're just going to repeat the same process. I just add like one or two colors at a time and then whatever color I feel is necessary to add more then I'll go in and add it but you need to make sure that you add the acrylic a little bit more on the wet side so that it's easy to blend together if not the colors are just going to be like 
with a it's gonna have like a harsh line and so before i continue girl don't forget to subscribe to my little channel give me a little thumbs up and leave me a little comment how's everybody doing bitch i know i've been a little m.i.a i had this video already recorded obviously for almost a week now but um i was like okay so let put it put it so i go to work to the salon now on fridays and saturdays um, that's why sometimes I be like missing in action <laughs> on my social medias because you know homegirl over here using her hands and that's why my voice be sounding a little funny porque el chisme está bien bueno con mis clientas. I be like witty 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 you know all fucking day for like 12 hours and shit que se me acaba la voz se me acaba la pinche voz. So this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look so cute? Like, the glitter just adds, like, a whole new look to the little marbles. And, I mean, you could add fine glitter if you choose to. But, girl, you know, I like the chunky vibes. I love the hollow, hollow, hollow. And so, right here, I just felt like I had to use my little cutter tool. Um, unfortunately, it's already sold out. It sold like pancakes, but don't worry, I will be restocking in the next week or so. So stay tuned for the um, tool if you did not get your hands on it. Um, so one thing that I did learn because I had never used it in a client before and I did Mimi's nails. I was a little um, upset at the, at the nails. I mean, I love them, but I felt like they could have been better. So here's a little tip. Make sure that the acrylic before you cut is a nice thickness. Do not make it too, too thin so that you can um, go in there and cut it. And if it's not as perfect as you want it, you can go in with a file. I don't remember if I, if, I don't think I filed mine. I just left it like that. But the little cutter, if you don't clean the bottom, after each finger it will have acrylic so if you don't clean it and there's acrylic left over then the next cut is not gonna be perfect it's gonna be like fucking zigzag wrinkly or whatever so that's just a little tip of mine um so I didn't realize that until when I did her nails because she was my first little customer so I was kind of sad I was like oh man the nails are cute but they could have been cuter more perfect Pero pues, echando a perder se aprende, right? So right here, I just went in with the glitter. Um, and I don't really mind that mine don't come out perfect. Like to me, con que yo tengo una uña, is cool. And plus, I really know that I'm going to go in there and throw shit on top of my nails. So if the little smile line is not as perfect as perfect or whatever, like, I ain't tripping because I know there's going to be some shebang on top. And I I just wanted to try the damn tool, to be honest. I was like, girl, I ain't about that Frenchie life. Even though a lot of girls are. And I don't understand why some clients be thinking that French is simple to do. Like, no, girl, that shit is hard as fuck. So, if you're a customer and you're watching this, anybody's customer... And you're gonna go in to get your nails done and you expect simple and you ask for French girlfriend by Felicia that's not fast okay it's gonna it actually takes longer than a, one color um, so I, I apologize I was not in screen or whatever you want to call it estaba toda chueca la verga pero ahí está la uñita it came out so cute and right here I think I had already filed them and shaped them and I was feeling myself and I was like, ooh, girl, who dish? Yes, pretty. Nice and smooth, like a baby's bottom. <sighs> okay, let me breathe in, Julie. Breathe in before you pass out. And um, I had applied another tip underneath. I, I was trying to play a prank on some people. I was putting on the taper square, and I was like, ooh, girl, yes, I'm going to do this length. But then I was like, nah, girl, I can't. I can't fuck with this shorty, shorty length. For me, it was too short. So I ended up cutting it and applying this tip. So if you were like, girl, is there a reason why you put another tip on a tip? No, there was no reason. I just changed my mind and I wanted long bad bitch, bad bitch nails. So that's the reason why I have a little tip on a tip. 
And this bling right here, girlfriend, is the reason why I ended up with this color, color toenails. Now my left hand, I'm gonna end up doing a pastel purple because my hose did choose pastel purple. And I was like, ooh yes, girlfriend. This bling has to go on my nails because they're new, new, new. Um, those things sold like hotcakes as well, but I am slowly restocking the website um, as we start counting more diamonds. Um, so if you've been waiting on certain crystals, make sure to check the website every day and make sure that your bling bling is there or whatever. Um, because they do fly. They fly, 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 fly. So I can look what I had um, because this video is already coming to an end. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.